Okay, let's continue on and talk about the next type of authentication, type three, what you are. Now, this is the coolest type of authentication. It's also the most expensive and the most secure, and that's biometrics. Biometrics authenticates a user based on physical characteristics. Some common biometrics authentication criteria involved iris or retina scans. You've got the scanner that goes across your eye. Fingerprint and hand characteristics. We all know about fingerprints. Law enforcement has used fingerprints for a long time. Hand characteristics, such as the distance between several points on your hand, also can uniquely identify an individual. Voice patterns. Voice patterns are very unique to a specific individual. If you've been listening to this series for very long, you've probably picked up a specific accent that I may have. You probably have an idea of where I come from. Things that are subtle, such as inflection characteristics, accents, and other voice characteristics can uniquely identify one individual. Likewise, keystroke patterns can identify individuals. The way that you type is unique to you. The number of keystrokes that you'll make in a specific period of time, the amount of time between keystrokes, the way you move your fingers from one key to another will dictate the amount of time that you take between typing your individual characters. Also, if you tend to make the same mistakes over and over again, you can look at all these in a large document and uniquely identify individuals. Even in small character strings, you can get pretty close to identifying someone just the way that they type. Also, a person's signature uniquely identifies that person or comes awfully close again. We know that you can forge signatures. You can sign a document that looks a whole lot like someone else, but close inspection would result in identifying a person based on the signature.